It's playoff football at Shady Spring. The number seven Tigers hosting the number 10 Mingo Central Miners in Class AA. Scoreless in the first quarter. Mingo goes for it on fourth and 18, but the pass is broken up in the end zone. Tigers take over on downs, but are forced to punt. Later in the first quarter, Tanner Kisco takes the handoff, but Steven Crook strips the ball. Haven Chapman recovers it for Shady. It's third and seven now for the Tigers. Clark looking for a receiver. He evades pressure and scrambles out to his left. It looks like he'll run out of bounds, but no, he stays in play and finds the end zone. But wait a minute, folks. The run is called back for a holding penalty, and it's a big one. Shady is forced to settle for a field goal, except Devin Hatfield has other plans. He blocks it for Mingo. It remains scoreless after one quarter. Mingo ball at the start of the second quarter. Goad dumps off the pass to Kisco. Isaac Harvey pops it loose, and Jaden Hirschberger recovers it for the Tigers. They don't turn that turnover into points, but the offense eventually gets cooking. Drew Clark hits Eric Bevel for a short pass, and Bevel turns on the Jets down the sidelines. Shady Spring gets on the board first. It's 7 nothing with five minutes left in the half. Mingo looks to respond with just over two minutes to go now. Goad powers his way into the end zone on a QB keeper. It's tied at seven at halftime. The Shady fans had plenty to cheer about this year, but not tonight. They fall short. Mingo adds six points. The D holds strong in a 13-7 win.